So guys, got my tackle grab this month. Gonna open it up. And I'm gonna show you guys what's in it. Gonna let you guys in on on some secrets, depending on what I've got in here. Let's uh, let's give it a try. I'm gonna open it up real quick. Um, if you don't know about tackle grab, it's a service that you pay for, just like Mystery Tackle Box. I think you pay 16 bucks a month with Tackle Grab as opposed to 15 with Mystery Tackle Box. I did the Mystery Tackle Box the last uh, like three months and I decided to sign up for Tackle Grab just a couple months. I did a couple, um, I did a couple months of Tackle Grab and Mystery Tackle Box together to compare and so far I think I haven't really found a definitive edge for either of these. It's, you know, it's basically the same service. The thing that I liked about Tackle Grab as opposed to Mystery Tackle Box is that they have a profile on their website. You put your preferences, you know, if you like to fish freshwater, saltwater, if you like to fish, you know, um, topwater, they put spinner baits, hard baits, I mean, just, just kind of whatever, you know, worms. They have basically the type of fishing you like to do, finesse, what fish you like to catch. So, I mean, they go in-depth with this, and they really get good, um, they really get good data. They compile a lot of cool stuff and send you stuff based on your profile, which uh, hopefully I got some good stuff. I've really been wanting to get those Sabeel crankbaits. I haven't got them in Mr. Tackle Box yet, and I... I'm hoping I get them today. If not, I'll just have to buy one eventually. But let's open it up and take a look. Based on what I get, I'll give you guys some tips and show you, you know, things that I like to do with, with each bait. I'll uh, read what's on the card and, and everything else, and, and uh hope you guys enjoy. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is... The first bait that I'm going to be looking at here is the uh, Z-Man Chatterbait. These are awesome. And I absolutely love Z-Man baits. I love the way that they do their their products. Soft plastics. Everything is elastic based. So, if they're soft plastics, you know, it's elastic. So, you can, you can stretch this thing out. This is a trailer for the chatterbait. Looks like you just kinda put it on like so, have it hanging like this. Definitely gonna be using this. I love chatterbait. I love spinner baits in general. This is gonna be something fun to try out. It's gonna be something new. Ooh. Good sharp hooks too. You always wanna have good sharp hooks when you're fishing for whatever it is you fish for, bass, you know, bluegill, anything, just anything that you're fishing for in general. Um, let's see this here. The Z-Man Chatterbait retails for $5.99. I got this here, Vicious Fishing. Now, I found Vicious, vicious Fishing through Walmart a couple years back, and I've really enjoyed their products. Uh, let's see what this is. This is, uh, it is a crankbait. It looks like a deep diver. Uh, yes, it, wow. It dives 14 to 16 feet. It's a fourth ounce, two inch crankbait. The thing I like about Vicious Fishing is everything was, was fairly cheap at Walmart. I would just go and buy hooks and buy their, their line because they had really nice 14 pound fluorocarbon. They still sell the fluorocarbon there. And then I would buy mono. I bought I would buy mono and use that as leader. I would just kind of back and forth leader for my fly rod. I definitely liked the pack of worms that I bought from them. It was some sort of sparkly blue color. It was a great color worm. I still got a couple left. Um, that retails for $4.99. Wow. I definitely am enjoying that so far. Here is... Gambler. Gambler Go Fish. Let's see what these are. This looks like a 
Trick Worm. It is a Gambler Sweebo Worm, and it comes with these Giggy Heads. So these will go definitely, excuse me, definitely go great together. Kind of like a shaky head. Definitely, definitely like that. I love. Trying out shaky heads, I love worms. Um, you can get the Giggy heads two per pack, so this is a full pack of Giggy heads, two eighty five a pack, and um, this is a full pack of these gamblers. It's a dollar fifty six for these Sweebos for four four of them in a pack. Not too bad. I definitely definitely enjoy that. Here I have Liquid Mayhem. It is a fish attractant. It is a crawfish flavor made with real crawfish. Apply it to any soft plastic for enhanced appeal. Reapply frequently to ensure when fish bite they won't let go. This this thing right here retails for four ninety eight. Not too bad. I look. I love attractants. I love spike it, but I'm definitely in the, in the market to try new things. Gonna be enjoying that. These are dude wipes, I guess. You just let's see. I don't know what this is really for. They don't list it on here. I guess they're just giving it to you. It's one wipe. Um, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I guess this would just be something to clean my hands off of bass. So, dude wipes are, well, <laughs> looks like those dude wipes are for uh, when you need to um, use the bathroom while you're fishing in places where you there's no bathroom. So, yeah, I definitely used to go fishing with my family, with my uncle and my grandfather, and we would just take a roll of toilet paper in the, in the boat and we'd just find a place if we needed to go use the bathroom. But dude wipes, you can find them at Bass Pro Shops. Apparently, it says so on the back of this card. And last but not least, in here we have these ridiculous-looking swim bait flukes. These are called Reaction Strike Spit Tails. These baits are cool. By an anonymous source, says so on the back. These are five ninety-nine for this whole pack. This is a five pack. Actually, I got I got six in this one. I guess they're just giving me a lot. Um, this is neat. I will definitely try these. Um, now, tips for tackle grab users, people that buy tackle grab stuff. They um. They really go in detail about potential areas and baits to use and stuff like that. So I'm going to kind of go in detail real quick. What I like to do here. These reaction strike lures look like they'd be great. Um, I do like to put something like this on a drop shot. But I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to look at other things and try new rigs with this but I'm definitely going to rig this on a drop shot at some point these gamblers these are uh, let's see let me read the card because it doesn't say on the package unfortunately it never does how what size these are but these are six and a half inches I do sometimes do the the six inch on a drop shot but I think I'm going to do this shaky head just like this said you put this on you put your bait in it and uh, it's a good thing it's a good worm kind of like a Texas rig almost but it, it just it makes it you know a great vibration in the water fish love it this is gonna be a, it's gonna be good I'm gonna definitely enjoy this with this uh, vicious crankbait the unfortunate thing is I don't really have anywhere to fish that's 14 to 16 feet. I mean, this is this is the 2.4 series, and this is the 
deepest diver of the series. I mean, I'm still going to be interested to try it out. I, I love getting new crankbait, and vicious fishing has been good to me in the past. Worms, alike, everything that they've done. So, definitely going to be into this. I would, with the, with the, um, the Z-Man crankbait, chatterbait, excuse me, I like to fish this in not really bright conditions, but when it's, you know, when the sun's really shining on the water, because you can get that silver blade, you can get that thing to shine, and a lot of time, a lot of places where I fish, especially in the ponds around here, bass love shiny objects, and it's weird, because I'm sure I could go throw this in the surf where I like to fish, and I'm sure I could get the same reaction from something, you know, some sort of saltwater fish, speckled trout, redfish, I'm sure I could get the same reaction out of one of those with this thing as I would a bass. And I and if you can't really tell that blade I'm gonna work you work it on top of the water and that blade just kinda slaps the top of the water and really, really just excites the fish. That's one thing I've always enjoyed about the chatterbait. And spinner baits alike is just the, the, the vibrations that they, they give out. Um, let's see what else. I don't really have anything else in this box to show you. Everything has been taken out, demoed. Definitely going to put some of this liquid mayhem stuff on a few of my worms. I do have good use for this, especially I'm always using the spike it shark uh excuse me, I'm using the spike it stuff. It's the the spike it garlic. I have a can of the spike it crawfish. I like both of them. I feel as though the garlic works the best out of anything because for some reason garlic the garlic smell is just more potent than the crawfish smell that comes out of the can so I'm interested to see how this stuff works how well this stuff smells um, when I put it onto a bait I've got plenty of worms that work well already and that'll probably work way better with this liquid stuff on here um, that's basically it I recently took my reels off the rods to clean them up a little bit lube them up put some oil put some grease um i've been i soaked them in uh a tub of warm soapy water because i went to the beach fished in the surf got my rods all wet my reels all wet so i've been trying to clean them a little bit trying to get them back in working order but when i do uh, as I always say with the Mystery Tackle Box and Tackle Grab, I'm going to try and catch everything that came in this box. And I'll post videos, photos, let you guys know. Thanks for watching.